All right, evening, folks. It's Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Uh, I don't know, March 22nd or something like that, 2022. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick here on a, a diesel generator or any generator that has a stator winding that you got to put on. Stator means stationary. All right, hopefully the video ain't moving too much for you. Like, so you like, like that. All right. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional video recorder, but I'm working on it. I retired this March the 24th, which is, oh, I am wrong about the 22nd. March 24th was this coming Thursday, which is uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five more days. So I'm going to show you something here. All right. I'll try to get better. I got a GoPro and all that now. I got to learn how to use it. Here we go. I'm gonna turn. This is your generator 7.5K, which come out of that beast. Now, I got other videos. See, I took these rods right here, all threads, same threads as this. Put you on pause real quick. I'll tell you the size. Right there. It's a six millimeter by 1.0 by one meter threaded rod. That's what this size is right here let me get a clearer picture of it that ain't coming in clear at all is it well it's a threat there you go here let me blow this up so y'all won't get upset hmm that just ain't coming in is it let's go back to the one there you go put you on pause all right so that's the old stator all right which has the three sets of windings right or a neutral. It's got a leg one, leg two, black and red, and it got a neutral. There's the new one. And the magnet went, which I've already mounted. Okay, right there. So why I put these rods on here, because that's a magnet, PMA, uh, permanent magnet armature. The armature spins. That's the engine right there. That's a diesel. All right. So this helps me line up these holes right here and slide this on, okay? And it stops it from hitting these magnets or chipping them or cracking them. If you get a fine hair cracking this, they're only epoxied on, folks. You see the blue? So that's what heat, heat eventually and age will, the epoxy gets weak and then magnets spin off of there. Let me hold on, I might be able to find one for you. All right, look. Right there, that's part of one. Yep, right there's another one. All right, there's the new one. Since I'm by myself, I'm just gonna lift it up, slide it on there, and I'm not gonna record that portion for you. I just wanna show you this little trick that helps out there. All right. Thank you very much, it's a short video. You can do this on a 7.5 or 8K generator or anything that has a stator winding that has to be mounted, all right? You can use centering rods or whatever you want to call them, but they assist you when you're by yourself. All right, if you had two people, eh, I still would be very careful putting it on because you're, if you chip or crack that magnet, she's going to come apart and you're going to be back where you was. All right, both of those components you saw were probably well over $2,000. All right, so thank you very much. It's Jeff from RV Diagnostics. What's the motto? Test not guess. Sorry about that. It was a little air compressor. I had to blow out all my threads after I chase them. And that means I put a tap or die in there, clean them out, then blow them out. So what was the old motto? Test not guess. You're right. What ways to get a hold of me? One here's on the YouTube channel. Go ahead and put a comment on there. Good, bad. I'll get with you. Try to help you understand. Two. This is the ever-growing, almost 25,000 members Facebook page, RV Diagnostics and Troubleshooting. The other way to get a hold of me is at my garage and school at 22480 Bloxham School Road, Seaford, Delaware, 19973. Remember, do not just show up. you got to give me two or three weeks' notice. I have a backlog of, of RVs, too. <laughs> Uh, even mine. I put, kept putting mine on the burner to fix people's. So now I'm shut down for the month of uh, March and part of April. The other way to get a hold of me is the website where I do one-on-one -on -one with you. You can get my telephone number there. That's 302 eh, 
Well, anyway, it's www.rvdiagnostics.com. That's plural, diagnostics. Uh, the other way is the email, jeff at rvdiagnostics.com. Thank you very much for putting up with my unprofessional quality video, but it is what it is until I can get better. Remember, I retire on March the 24th of this year, so I get to spend more time learning like you're learning your RV. I'm learning and allowed to learn, just like you're allowed to learn your RV. I'm allowed to learn YouTube, all right? So I'm getting better at it. Thank you very much for putting up with me. as well over 300 and some videos. Well, it's actually 350, but I think 10 of them are like two are birds, five are dogs. Come on now, give me a break. All right, anyway, take care. Thank you very much.